The second thing is trying to make sure when you do things like squats or deadlifts, you need to maintain a neutral spine. A lot of the time people aren't maintaining a neutral spine because their core awareness is not so good. They might be too tight. So if Amelia does a squat, if she sticks her backside out too far, she doesn't maintain neutral. If she's got too much curve here, then you can't maintain a good core stability and the discs get a bit of pressure. So what she's got to make sure is when she starts, if you start again a minute, she doesn't stick her bum out. Okay, she's got to be neutral. So the bum's in a little bit, so the pelvis is level. And when she squats, she's got to maintain that. So when she gets down to the bottom, there's only a very slight curve here. Okay, not a really exaggerated one. All right, so that's maintaining neutral. The other thing too is when you squat, if you go too low, if she keeps going, she loses it again. It goes round. Okay, so... This might mean you guys look in a mirror or you have a friend to make sure that you are maintaining a nice neutral back here and not letting it round like that at the bottom. Because if you round at the bottom with load, that's what gives you problems in your lower back. It's okay to round and squat down like this. That's fine. And babies do it all the time. But they don't have weights on their backs. Heavy weights. Okay. So it's only when you've got the load on your spine, you have to maintain neutral. Any other time you can bend forward, that's mm -hmm. fine. It's when there's load on there and repetition after repetition, okay? So maintaining neutral spine is important. Also, reducing axial load. What we call axial load is this load that goes down through the spine. So if you've got a bar on your back and you're doing 10 kilos, drop it down to five. Does that then reduce some of your symptoms or some of your pains okay maybe drop it down to zero just have a pole maybe have none just do body weight squats mm -hmm. 